Augusta National Golf Club has officially welcomed a crop of new members, and the list is a who's who of celebrities and powerful businessmen. According to Sports Business Journal, this year's freshman membership class includes former New York Giants quarterback and Tom Brady nightmare Eli Manning, CBS Sports Chairman Sean McManus, Amazon CEO Andy Jassy, and Delta Airlines CEO Ed Bastian. Eli Manning now joins his brother, Peyton, as a member of the exclusive club, along with several other notable sports power brokers, including NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred. My guess, Adam Silver just doesn't like golf that much. But how exactly does one become a member of Augusta National? How much does it cost? What are the membership rules? And does the initiation ceremony involve an animal sacrifice of some type? Everyone wants a peek behind the curtain, so let's break it all down. When it comes to the most secretive places on Earth, most people think of the same places. Area 51, Fort Knox, or the Vatican Secret Archives. But Augusta National Golf Club should definitely be added to that list. This is a golf club that has spent more than $200 million buying up land through an array of LLCs over the last five years. Not to mention the fact that they put RFID tracking chips in badges at the mast which track where everyone is on the property at all times. I mean, it's not like they're trying to hide some secret government project or an underground lair. They just want to protect the greens. I tell you all this because it should come as no surprise to anyone that the membership process for Augusta National Golf Club is as complex and unique as it is secretive. So let's take it back to where it all started. Founded in 1932, Augusta National Golf Club was initially a men's only establishment. Not only that, it was, at the time, a white men's only establishment. Not allowing an African American member until Ron Townsend was admitted in 1990. And it was just 12 years ago that the club started allowing female members too, welcoming former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice and South Carolina financier Darla Moore in 2012. To put it simply, Augusta's early beginnings were a little problematic by today's standards. With that being said though, one of the things that makes Augusta National different from most golf clubs is that it's registered as a for-profit corporation. This requires the club to pay more in taxes, but to them, it doesn't matter because it means they don't have to share their membership list, income, holdings, expansion plans, or really anything else at all. To Augusta, privacy is even more important than profit. Because of this unique structure, Augusta National's membership process is similar to the Loch Ness Monster, only known through rumors and secondhand accounts. With that in mind, here's what we do know. The club has about 300 members. The membership list includes a mix of billionaires, CEOs, hedge fund managers, and sports figures. And the club only admits people once current members pass away or voluntarily leave. Talk about a tough waiting list. The current membership list is full of names you would definitely know. Guys like Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Lynn Swan, even Lou Holtz. But the club has a ton of people you don't know too, because as the old saying goes, it's not about what you can pay, it's about who you know. Surprisingly, the membership initiation fee for Augusta National is pretty low considering its clientele with a measly 40 grand, getting you added to its exclusive list. For guys like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, that's basically pocket change. For some good perspective, places like Shinnecock Hills or Los Angeles Golf Club have initiation fees of three to $500,000. Still pennies for billionaires like Buffett, but certainly more expensive than you might think. Augusta National also charges significantly less than they could in annual dues, rumored to be a few thousand dollars a year. They don't even overcharge its members when they visit the club either, with the cost of staying overnight at one of the property's 10 cabins or 100 rooms coming in at around $100 per night. So how does one actually become a member at Augusta National? Well, potential members must be nominated by a current member at the club. You also don't even have to be a good golfer either, as the average handicap of Augusta National members is estimated to be 14. When new spots open up, Augusta National's executives determine who's worthy of the spot by talking to the club's current members. The only hard and fast rule being that if a person publicly discusses why they want to become a member, they're almost always removed from the club's consideration. The first rule of Augusta National, don't talk about Augusta National. The best example of this is Bill Gates, the nerdy guy who gave the world Clippy in this incredible dance. Gates had more money than almost anyone in the world, but was repeatedly denied membership to Augusta because he openly talked about his desire to join the club. Now, Gates was eventually admitted as a member in 2002, but clearly it doesn't matter how rich or powerful you are. Augusta National Golf Club simply doesn't care. You might be one of the best golfers in the world, but that also doesn't guarantee you access to the historic course. Heck, even a Masters champion like Tiger Woods has only been given honorary status. Sure, Masters champions can play Augusta National whenever they want, even being allowed to bring friends along with them. 
but guys like Tiger and Scotty Scheffler still need to pick up their guests at the front gate and their foursome has to include a current member of the club. What's more interesting though is that once you finally become a member, it's not like you have free reign to do whatever you want. As Walter said in The Big Lebowski, this isn't Nam, there are rules. Augusta National has some of the strictest rules in golf, from dress code to behavior on the course, so let's run through a few of them. Like many high-level country clubs, you are not allowed to wear backwards hats. But unlike many high-level country clubs, you are also not allowed to wear shorts, ever, no matter how hot it is. <laughs> Tipping is also not allowed on the property, outside of caddies, and high-stakes gambling is frowned upon. Speaking of frowned upon, the club doesn't like to have lights on after midnight, so much so that their New Year's Eve countdown happens at 10.30 p.m. instead of midnight. And in rules that you can't believe even exist, they do not allow anyone to fish from any of the water on the property. Now, I really wonder which member inspired them to create that restriction. I'm looking at you, Peyton. Remember the first rule of Augusta National, though? Well, funny story, but Warren Buffett broke that rule when he told some stories on The Dan Patrick Show about a particularly eventful round of golf at Augusta. Is Bill Gates a member at Augusta as well? He is a member. In fact, I was with him uh, when we were uh, playing in a club tournament, and... and uh, on the very last shot he hit was a hole in one. Oh. We played the par three after the after the uh, regular eighteen, and uh, he knocked it in, and uh, it cost me fifty five hundred dollars because the foursome had to split buying the drinks. <laughs> I, I I keep reminding him, but I don't see any checks coming. If you could help me on this, I'd appreciate it. Warren Buffett might have broken a few rules here, but at the end of the day, he's still Warren Buffett. And while these rules might seem like overkill to some people, Augusta National offers such a money you can't buy this experience that it's totally worth it. For example, the club closes its course during the hot summer months to keep it in pristine condition from October to May. There is a secret, well, I guess not so secret anymore, wine cellar beneath the clubhouse with 30 plus pages of the world's most exclusive wines. sub air systems keep the greens consistent by sucking up the water when it rains and adding moisture when it's hot. Heck, they even added these sub-air systems under walkways after a patron slipped and fell a few years ago during the Masters. But perhaps the best benefit of them all is tea times. For us normal folks, tea times can be a pain in the neck. A weekly gamble that could result in you teeing off at 7 in the morning or 12.30 in the afternoon. For Augusta members though, this isn't a thing. A typical weekend will only have 20 to 30 members on the course, with a busy weekend only reaching about 80 players. This is because some members only visit Augusta National three to five times a year, while others visit the club 15 to 20 times annually. And if you're fortunate enough to become a member at this exclusive club, you'll legitimately feel and see the club's history at every fairway and green. A couple of weekend golfers test the rugged Augusta National course. Dwight Eisenhower, a president by trade, belts of beauty far down the fairway. Following suit is Ike's partner, Billy Joe Patton, a lumber dealer and amateur star of the recent Masters Tournament at Augusta. A birdie putt, so the president asks some advice. The cameramen are ready, Ike's ready, and sure enough, in the cup. Congratulations, Mr. President. Yes, you heard that overly stereotypical newsreel correctly. Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th president of the United States, was a member of Augusta National, the only U.S. president to ever be a part of the club, making 29 trips to the property and playing 210 rounds of golf during his eight years in the White House. In fact, Eisenhower went to Augusta so much during his presidency that the Secret Service worked with the club to build him his own cabin, which members can now stay in when visiting the property. But by far the coolest thing that every member receives, a freaking green jacket. I don't have to convince all of you that Augusta National Golf Club is a special place. From the wildly exclusive membership, impeccably well-kept course, and legendary history, Augusta National will always be thought of as the holy grail of golf clubs. But can someone please tell me more about how I can get in for a quick 18? 